Right, when we look to see whether a statement is valid or not, you simply need to find a, uh, you look for a counterexample. If you can find a counterexample, then it's not valid. If you can't find any counterexample, then uh, you can make the statement that it is valid. So parallel lines do not intersect. Therefore, non-parallel lines do intersect. Well, there is a potential to find non-parallel lines that do not intersect. So you have a set of skew lines like this. Those do not intersect. Uh, therefore, this is not a valid statement. In example B, states that an acute angle uh, is less than 90 degrees. Therefore, a non-acute angle is more than 90 degrees. So if we find a non-acute angle that is not more than 90 degrees, such as a right angle itself, we found our counterexample. And so this also is not necessarily valid. In C, if a point bisects a segment, it's called a midpoint. So if you have a segment and you say that the point that bisects this is called a midpoint, therefore the midpoint of a segment bisects that segment. So this is uh, a statement that you cannot find a counterexample to, therefore it's a valid statement or a valid conclusion. In D, you're told that ABCD is a rhombus. So if we sketch an example of that rhombus, and then it says if ABCD is a rhombus, then its diagonals are perpendicular bisectors of each other. So these diagonals here are perpendicular and they bisect each other. The next part of the statement says the diagonals of ABCD are not perpendicular bisectors of one another, therefore ABCD is not a rhombus. Well, this is only true if it is a rhombus, therefore if this is not true, ABCD is not a rhombus, this is a valid conclusion. In statement E says that if WXYZ is a rectangle, so again, if we kind of sketch what we have, and its opposite sides are congruent, so if those sides are congruent, those sides are congruent, the opposite sides of WXYZ are congruent, therefore WXYZ is a rectangle. Well, all we need to do is find an example of an image or a figure for which this is not the case. If you take any parallelogram, regardless of its angle measures, the opposite sides will be congruent to each other. Therefore, that's not necessarily a valid conclusion to draw. F, if you ride the bus, you will be late for school. You didn't ride the bus, therefore you weren't late for school. And this only tells you what will happen if you ride the bus. There's, there's no contingencies given in the case that you didn't. Therefore, uh, it may or may not be the case that you were late, so this is not a valid conclusion either. Finally, if you study uh, Sunday night, you will miss your favorite TV show. You study Sunday night, therefore you missed it. This is an example. It tells you specifically what will happen if you do study Sunday night, and then because you chose to do that, the consequences will result. You'll miss your favorite TV show, so this is a valid conclusion.